Hi, Luke. From Gilmore Girls. <laughs> so you've been watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> yeah. That's a strange way to start a conversation. How much coffee have you had? All of it. Okay. Coffee. You wanted to, thank you. Uh, more coffee? No. no. I don't want to spoil Gilmore Girls for you because you're like at season one? I'm in the middle of season two and I'm very sensitive to spoilers. So Year in the Life ends with Rory writing a book that we call Gilmore Girls. Mm. So my theory is Year in the Life is the only true Gilmore Girls universe and Gilmore Girls season one through seven is actually the rose-colored glasses version of what unhappy 32-year-old Rory wants her life to be. I believe Bye. you. I was gonna do like a, a huge spit take at that, but I didn't want to ruin your computer. Oh, it's but. covered in coffee. She's okay. a horrible person, but she wants to come off as great in the book. So in Year in the Life, Rory wants to write this book and she tells her mom and her mom's like, absolutely not, you can't write this about me. Like this is our private lives. And I think it makes a lot more sense in this universe if that was actually a more realistic and tumultuous mother-daughter relationship. Yeah. And because of that, uh, Lorelai's like, no, don't write it. Rory writes this book knowing her mom is against it. It only makes sense she would smooth over all of the aspects of their relationship that wasn't pretty. I haven't seen Year in the Life yet, but for normal Gilmore girls, I'm starting to buy into this fan theory because she is way too perfect. Rory is way too perfect in the show. What happens in the new Netflix one that makes her seem more real to you and horrible? Year in the life, she's so terrible with men in an mm -hmm. absolutely non-human way. When Roy's writing this book, yeah. she and Logan are having an affair and Logan is engaged. We have an agreement. What happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. At the end of season one through seven, the book she's writing, mm -hmm. Logan proposes to her and she says no and goes and leads her best life, which is something she can't do in her real life. Did right. he even propose to her? They never address the fact that he had proposed to her in Year in the Life. That's weird, right? They're having an affair, he's yeah. engaged, they're never like, you had your chance. That's something you'd say. We'd all say that. Now I want that to be true and it I want true. there to be four more episodes after Year in the Life where the book, The Gilmore Girls, has come out, Logan is like, what the f you made me propose to you in this? I didn't do that, my <laughs> wife's gonna kill me. Yeah. And Paris is like- She's gonna know, I, I call you all the time, it's right. very obvious. And Paris was like, you made me so mean and high strung, why would you and do you this? And you made you perfect, we're both mean and high strung. Right. God, you're like a pop-up book from hell. She also is dating someone at the time, throughout the entirety of it, and like, just, it's like a consistent joke that she keeps forgetting who he is. Oh crap, I forgot about Paul. I want to address the counterpoint that season one through seven book Rory is very horrible at relationships. She can't even imagine what a good relationship looks like yeah. because she hasn't seen it as an example with her mom and she hasn't lived it herself. She uh, cheats on Dean with Jess, then she Ha, she loses her virginity to Dean. No! I know, while no, he's married! Dean. While he's married! I know, I know. And Christopher, her father, wasn't in her life at all. Yeah. That being said, Year in the Life Rory and Christopher is the true relationship. She goes there, it's awkward. You know I love you though, right? I know. Whereas season one through seven, Rory, she and Christopher basically have the, the most idealistic relationship you could have of a father who left his family and wasn't around. That rang super false on, yeah. on first viewing because the way that we get introduced to Christopher is a guy on a motorcycle pulls up and shouts to Lorelai, hey, take your shirt off. Yeah. And, and then Rory goes, dad! dad, and gives him a big hug. Right. It's like, such an inhuman moment. Rory and Lorelai's relationship, what is that like in Year in the Life? Because in the show, they've got a really great relationship and they always talk everything out. And like, even when they fight, they resolve it within 20 minutes with a, a very well-measured conversation. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I'm grounded for six months or seven and no TV, no stereo, no reading. In fact, take all of my books away from me and lock them up. You're in the life, Lorelai and Rory. They go a whole season without talking and it's like not even addressed. Season a whole season because, uh, like uh, fall uh, or spring, whatever. Spring, spring, or yeah. mm -hmm. They address it a little bit like they, they hug and they're like, oh, it's been a while. But like, look at this picture. Okay. Okay. So this is Rory and Lorelai in the year in the life promotion. Mm -hmm. That looks so fake. It looks like they may as well be photoshopped next to each other. Yeah. That's not a hug. Look at Gilmore Girls 1 through 7. Oh, that's Look a at good that. Hug. That's, that's a, a hug. real hug. Yeah. That's a real smile. That's her fake version of her yeah. relationship. That's the written version. Maybe the most important point of all. Mm. In season one through seven, Rory can hold things. Yeah, that's in most of the TV shows that I watch. Uh-huh. But Year in the Life. Rory cannot hold things. So look at this promotional photo for Year in the Life where they're yes. holding coffee cups. Holding. Holding. That's generous of you. This is what she's doing with one hand. This is insane. Yeah. Here, this is the flowers. Look at this. 
Again, Lorelai, normal person. Mm -hmm. Rory, failing at holding yeah. flowers. But if you look back at the original series, the book, mm -hmm. here she is, coffee, normal. Nailing normal. it, yeah, yeah. Here she is, flowers. That's a true patriot, look at that. Normal flowers, mm -hmm. holding it like that, not like that. 32-year-old Rory wrote into her book, 16-year-old Rory holds things like normal yeah. human. She is pretty fantastic. She is pretty. Season one through seven. Oh yeah, Alexa Bedell is very pretty. Mm. She's got very nice mm, eyes. So pretty. That hot forehead. Way too intelligent and way too um, like emotionally balanced. Lorelai, who is an alpha wolf and she's unstoppable and she's the best, mm -hmm. telling Rory, I'm gonna start sleeping with your teacher at this school where you're new and already hated and students don't need a reason to hate you. And Rory's like, Mom, try to keep him out late on Thursday because I have a test on Friday and I want him to be tired for it. Your reaction not gonna be, Hey mom, uh, go f my teacher real good. Like yeah. that's not a reaction that a normal person would have. She also like, her mom goes out of town for the weekend in season two and she, I know you're not there yet, <laughs> big spoiler. And her boyfriend's like, yes, we can be alone. And like without your weird mom, who by the way, was there for our first date. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know what? I really just like want the house to myself and to do laundry. That's the feelings of a 32 year old woman who doesn't have a place to live. So, okay, you're in the life Rory. She goes for a job interview doesn't prepare in any way, thinks they're just gonna hand her the job. That's very off-brand. Exactly. And then she like yells at this woman on the phone after the interview being like, a girl named Caitlin is gonna be the voice of Rory Gilmore. Are you high? Don't be hostile. Not a thing anyone's ever done in a job interview. Mm. So yeah, that's the theory, that uh, Year in the Life is the only true universe and season one through seven is just like a children's book. Yeah, so when we started this and I asked you to be cautious about spoilers, you not only spoiled multiple important plot points, but you've also rendered the seasons one through seven meaningless. Nothing in one through seven happened. In, re in reality, they had a really strained relationship and Rory wasn't all that smart and no, she's not awful. that tall. And then she wrote this sort of mm. idealized eyes aren't that version. Blue. Yeah, yeah, her eyes are like some, yeah. like some kind of brown, shit brown or something ugh. garbage. God. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you so much for, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and include your own fan theories. Um, I'm gonna ask Rosie now a bunch of questions about stuff that happened in uh, mm. a Year in the Life. I'm ready. Um, does Paris ever reveal her true powers? She's and like breathe fire, sprout, true Paris. sprout wings, and rule the school. Not the school, mm -hmm. but the world. Does Dean die off screen somewhere in like a train thing? No, he's uh. pretty happy, yeah. He's happy? He seems happy in it, yeah. There's no justice in anything. I know.